Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I want to deal with monohybrid cross. If you know, you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe and hit the like button and comment so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. Monohybrid cross is actually a cross that involves just a particular character, one character. Example of a character, height. Even if it's short or tall, it's still a character. Complexion as a character. So, we're taking height. Capital letter T means dominant, and this is recessive. So, this individual is tall, and this is what? Short. So, we'll be crossing a tall B plant, for example, with a short word B plant. This is the parent, tall and short. This is the garment. From my previous video, you can check out how to get the garment for this particular. Um, Crossing. So this is the garment, and this is the garment for the top period. This we mate with this to get capital letter T and small letter T. Then this same one will mate with the second one here to get capital letter T and small letter T. These are we used to cross both of them. We now go to the second one. This we mate with this to get capital letter T and small letter T. And this we also work with the second one. To get capital letter T and small word letter T. So this is the second word. This is the first word, filial word generation, F1 word generation. Now we talk about phenotypic ratio. That ratio, in this case, we have only two phenotypes, tall or short. For a bee plant, it can either be tall or what short. So this is tall, this is tall, this is tall, this is tall because this is dominant over small letter word T. Dominant, is a, a dominant character is a character that is expressed as when another one that is suppressed is what present. So since 4 is what tall, phenotypic ratio 4 is tall and 0 is what short. Now why genotypic ratio? We have three possible genotype in this case. This is a different genotype, this is a different genotype, and this is what a different word genotype. So let's assume that this one comes first. Do we have any of this? No. So this is zero. Then the second one, we have four of these. Four, and we don't have any of these. This is zero. So this is what the Gino what typical what ratio. Now I can ask what is the probability of getting a tall individual when you cross a tall P plant, homozygous tall P plant with a homozygous what short P plant. After getting a tall individual, all the individuals are actually what? Tall, so it's four. Required outcome is four. The total outcome is what four. Well, what about the probability of having what a short individual? There is no short individual, so it's zero all over what four. So we can decide to cross the F1 generation in this case, and it's crossing this to get what the second filler generation. So crossing of what F1 what generation, the parent will become what this F1. While the garments you get as usual in my previous video, then you do the same crossing. This will cross with this face, and this will cross with this. So we have this, and we also have this. Then this will also cross with both of them. So we now have this capital letter T, and this, this, and this. So in this case, what is now the phenotypic ratio? Let's take a look at it. This is tall, because both letters are capital letter. This is also tall. Despite we have it's a small letter T here, this is dominant over this. So this is what tall. This is tall. And this is short. So we have three tall and one word short. So the phenotypic ratio is what? Three word ratio one. Why in the genotypic ratio um, situation? Or how, to, how do you get the genotypic ratio? This is a different genotype. So this is one. This two is a different genotype. This is two. And this is the last genotype. This is three. So I can ask what is the probability of having a genotype of small letter T, small letter T in this cross? The answer is simple. This is one all over the total outcome is what? Four. So you can try to convert your answer to percentage or towards decimal. This same cross you can do in another format. I'll quickly introduce the format. It's a very good format called. In this case, what do I do? I just put the garment. This is the two garments, this is the first garment, this is the second garment, and this is the first garment, and this is the second word garment. How do I get the four outcome? This is connected to this, we have this and this. This is connected to this, and connected to this, we have this and this. 
This is also connected to this and this. You have this and this. Captain Data confessed for the same character or alphabet. Then this is connected. You have this and what this. So this is another way of getting what you cross down. Now, I believe this is a very simple. We can take another example of monohybrid cross. When you cross a recessive parent of a pea plant with an unknown dominant uh, parent, this one you will not know for sure if it's actually this. If it's actually homozygous, actually this, or if it's actually what? This. Let me use. Because this is appearing to her, this is appearing what? Tom. So this, we assume that this one is unknown. So when you cross this recessive with this unknown, you are carrying out what? A test cross. You want to test if this period is actually what? Homozygous for this trait or heterozygous for this trait. So this is the gamut. And this is the gamut as usual. So you carry out the cross. This will cross with this. This with this. And this with this. And this with this. So you follow the procedure that we have used in our earlier example, you have this outcome as what? Well, the offspring. And what is the phenotypic ratio? We have this is tall, this is tall, and this is short, this is tall. So the phenotypic ratio is indicated that two of the offspring is tall and two is what? Short. Which, since it's two ratio two, you can eventually be divided as one ratio one. Why the genotypic ratio? This genotype and this genotype, they are also the same. This and this, they are the same. So it's the same two ratio two, and which is the same one ratio one. This one, you can also use the method that I use here to solve this. How do you do that? You just draw your box, and you have something like this. You put your gamut. This is here, and this is here. Sorry. And this is here, this is here. So you put, this is connected. This and this, this box is connected to this on top, and this other side. So you have this. This one is connected to this other side, and this on top, you have this. This is connected to this on top, and this other side, you have this. And this is connected to this one, and this, you have what? This. So you have the same answer. So this is a simple method of carrying out a monohybrid cross in genetics. If you have any question, you can drop it at the comment section. If there's anything I need to explain further, you can drop it at the uh, comment section so that I can make subsequent make video on them and my subsequent teachings.